we've all heard of employers being uh, giving a little bit more leeway during the pandemic, allowing staff to work remotely. But this lawsuit is painting a picture of exactly the opposite. Now this woman is not only suing the firm here, she's also suing her former boss, Jeffrey Feiger. Well-known personal injury attorney Jeffrey Feiger is facing a lawsuit himself, accused of violating federal legislation that gives employees who've lost childcare due to COVID-19 up to two weeks of paid sick leave. In the suit filed this week in federal court, attorney Paulina Millman claims her son's daycare closed due to the pandemic in mid-March. The child had previously had a respiratory virus. She claims that Feiger denied her request to work from home on a Monday and Tuesday, so she had to use PTO. She was already pre-assigned to work from home on that Wednesday. On Thursday, the lawsuit claims Millman's son was feeling sick and that she offered to take unpaid leave to remain out of the office. But she was then allowed to work from home for the rest of the week. Later that day, though, she was fired. In this termination letter included in the lawsuit, Feiger claims Millman had cleaned out her desk failed to come to work because her child had a minor cold and that she'd been off for 10 days in less than three months. Her attorney says Feiger also violated the Family Medical Leave Act and is seeking damages for what she claims was a wrongful firing. We did reach out to the Feiger law firm as well as Millman's attorney, Deborah Gordon. We're waiting on a response from both those parties for a comment in this lawsuit. Gordon is demanding a jury trial in this case. Reporting live this morning in Southfield, Jen Schantz, 7 Action News.